hi guys welcome back to my channel quite a minutes from my chain so for today's reaction we're gonna be doing quavo and sweetie shade each other over this and before we get started you guys already know hit the subscribe button down below it is free turn your notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video if you are a new subscriber welcome to the family if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you so much you the real mvp thank you for your love and support i truly appreciate you and yeah let's get started the breakup drama between Quavo and Saweetie just got even messier. After disturbing footage of the former couple fighting on an elevator emerged, Saweetie and Quavo tried to downplay the incident and claimed the fight wasn't the reason for the split. But what was the reason then? Yeah, that fight in the elevator went viral. That, that, that went viral. Well, ever since the news about the breakup made headlines, Saweetie has been dropping hints that Quavo cheated on her. However, the Migos rapper has now fired back and threw shade at his ex-girlfriend in a new diss track. So what really happened between Quavo and Saweetie? And why are they still taking shots at each other? As you probably know, not that long ago, Quavo and Saweetie were considered relationship goals. And the fans were convinced it was only a matter of time until these two walked down the aisle. And though cheating rumors did follow them over the years, Saweetie and Quavo never paid too much attention to the haters. In their July 2020 interview with GQ magazine, the former couple revealed their romance started on Instagram, and they both claimed it was love at first sight. Saweetie said she had always thought Quavo was fine, and revealed she would even send screenshots of Quavo's pictures to her friends to talk about how good-looking he was. The pair started exchanging flirty messages on IG after Quavo made the first move. I saw her on my Explore page, Quavo said. I was like, damn, who is this? So I did my research, and I DM'd her. I was like, how is she going to call herself Icy and she doesn't talk to me? From that point on, the pair would talk on the phone for hours every day, and they finally met in L.A. after Quavo invited Saweetie to a kickback with his friends. However, Saweetie said she didn't like the rowdy environment, so she decided to play hard to get and ghosted Quavo after meeting him for the first time. Quavo knew at this point that he had to pull out all the stops to impress his crush, so he finally planned a real date for just the two of them. He brought Saweetie to his favorite steakhouse in Atlanta, Stony River, followed by a trip to the headquarters of Quality Control Music to give her a tour of the studio. Okay. The evening ended in Migos style, at Atlanta's most popular strip club, Magic City, and in Quavo's words, he and Saweetie never looked back since. Period. <laughs> Period. At least he called himself up and did it the right way, you know? On, you know, taking on the regular date, you know, one-on-one -on -one time. Because why would you meet someone for the first time and just bring them around your people, like? Quavo even showed his vulnerable side in the GQ interview and talked about how the relationship with Saweetie changed him for the better. I don't let people inside my life, and I let her inside, and she's helping me grow up. She's showing me how to love a woman, Quavo said. The romance progressed quickly, and in May 2019, Quavo even hinted at the possibility of marriage by sharing a video of Saweetie catching the bouquet at his sister's wedding. Guess okay. who next? The rapper wrote in the caption. Saweetie then jumped in the comments of her boyfriend's post and confirmed yes, she was sir. by writing, Yes, sir. <laughs> so how come Saweetie and Quavo went from this fairy tale romance and marriage plans to getting physical on an elevator yeah. and writing distance that was, tracks? That was, that was bad was bad about each other besides the occasional cheating rumors that follow every celebrity pair there was nothing to suggest that the couple was going through some things behind the scenes this is why the fans were left in complete shock when on march 19th 2021 saweetie took to twitter to announce she and quavo had broken up i'm single saweetie wrote i've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character presents don't band-aid scars and the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to other women. Saweetie's followers were furious to find out Quavo had cheated and told the Icy rapper she was always too good for the Migos rapper anyway. You were always the prize. That was a huge fumble on his behalf, one fan wrote. Another person added, he doesn't deserve you, Saweetie. He lost a real gem. His loss. Boss up, queen. However, the same day Saweetie shared her breakup announcement, Quavo also decided to address the split on Twitter. In a post addressed directly to Saweetie, Quavo wrote, I know you want to make this into a show, so I'll play my part just this one time. I don't normally put my business out there, especially my personal life. I feel the need to address this, so there are no false narratives. 
In a follow-up tweet, Quavo told Sweetie she wasn't the woman he thought she was and added, I wish you nothing but the best. Of course, this immediately got the Migos fans speculating that it was really Sweetie who was the unfaithful one. And while Quavo's followers were saying how he made the right decision by walking away from the relationship, Sweetie's fans accused him of manipulation. What false narratives? One fan responded, You're a cheater, bro. It's crazy because in that little paragraph, you didn't say, I didn't cheat. Manipulation is real. But just when you thought things couldn't get any messier, TMZ leaked disturbing footage showing Quavo and Saweetie getting into a physical altercation on an elevator. In the surveillance video, which was reportedly taken last year at Saweetie's North Hollywood apartment complex, Saweetie can be seen swinging at Quavo in front of the elevator door before trying to pick up an orange Call of Duty case off the floor. At that point, Quavo grabs her by the arm, pushes her inside the elevator, and knocks her to the ground while trying to take the case from her. Quavo eventually... Yeah, people were saying that, you know, um, she took his game and he was trying to take it back from her. And they were like, he, she should have never touched his stuff. These are the third. Which I understand, but in the game, but this is... This doesn't look good at all. Eventually manages to grab hold of the case and leaves Sweetie lying on the elevator floor. As many fans pointed out, although Quavo looked down at Sweetie several times and probably realized she had hurt herself, he didn't help her up. At the end of the video, Quavo is seen putting the Call of Duty case on the floor to stop the elevator doors from closing, and at that point, Sweetie picks herself up off the floor and exits the elevator. The leaked footage sparked a huge debate among the fans about who started the fight, and many of them speculated that this probably wasn't even the first time Quavo got physical with his girlfriend. However, the Migos rapper then decided to squash the rumors and address the incident in a statement to People magazine. We had an unfortunate situation almost a year ago that we both learned and moved on from, Quavo explained, and added, I haven't physically a sweetie and have real gratitude for what we did share overall. However, it now turns out Quavo isn't so grateful after all, because someone recently leaked a snippet of Quavo's upcoming track, and the fans are convinced he's dissing his ex. On the leaked snippet of... That's another thing with these rappers. That's what they do. They will go ahead and, you know... Like, once they break up, they will go ahead and make, like, these tracks. Like, come on now. We were dealing with this in private. Let's just keep it like that, okay? Like, it was already brought in social media. That's enough. That's enough. No need to make the whole song this year X for what? Come on, we grown. I think we grown, right? For what? Quavo raps about his partner being slimy and sneaky and threatens to take away the Bentley he gave her. On site, wrote in the caption, it looks like Quavo is dissing Sweetie in a recent snippet of an unreleased track and asked the fans, maybe he's talking about another Bentley, what y'all think? Both Quavo and Saweetie's fans then flooded the comments section, exchanging accusations and calling out each other's idols for cheating. While Quavo's supporters said they were excited for more breakup-inspired Migos music, Saweetie's fans called Quavo a clown for threatening to take away the Bentley he gifted his ex. So he bought her a Bentley, cheated, got caught, and dumped. Now she's slimy and sneaky and he's taking the Bentley back? One fan wrote. Many fans also pointed out how Quavo was lame for thinking Saweetie would care about the car because she was born rich and she can afford her own Bentley. But then one person commented that Saweetie probably won't stay silent for too long and said, there's going to be a war of diss tracks. Well, That's facts. If he drops the diss tracks, she'll m most likely drop one too. Turns out this fan's prediction is now coming true because Saweetie recently... <laughs> These artists are too much. Only dropped a diss track of her own. On Friday, April 16th, Saweetie released her new EP, Pretty Summer Playlist, Season 1. And on one of the tracks, called Seesaw, featuring Kendra J, the icy rapper spills all the beans on her breakup with Quavo. On Seesaw, Saweetie raps about thinking her ex was her anchor, only to find out he was playing games the whole time. In one of the lines, Saweetie also directly references Quavo's tweet about her not being the woman he thought she was. You got nerves selling me all these threats when you wrong. That's a bigger trigger. How you figure ain't the woman that you thought. Saweetie then goes on to accuse Quavo of sleeping around and calls him a narcissist who is just mad he got caught. 
In the meantime, Sweetie threw some more shade Quavo's way in a promotional video she shared on Instagram to announce her collaboration with Key Australia Sunglasses. Looking better than ever, Sweetie reminded everyone he isn't pronounced anything like her ex's name, and the fans jumped to the comment section to say how the shade is real. Though the fans are now saying Sweetie definitely won this battle, it remains to be seen if Quavo will respond to the shade and come out with another diss track. The Migos rapper is currently most likely he will in Jamaica filming a music video with DJ Khaled and her, and the fans of the Atlanta trio are already talking about how Culture 3 is going to be fire. So in the meantime, I want to know how you feel about all this back and forth between Sweetie and Quavo. Do you think he cheated and then tried to play the victim? Yes, guys. Do you guys think he cheated and tried to play the victim? Y'all let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think they will ever get back together? Do you guys think? Because, baby, these rappers and their, their breakups just be too much. But that whole incident in elevator was just, it went viral. It was crazy. But um, most people are saying that it was her fault. You know, she grabbed his game and all that, all that, all that. At the end of the day, it looks like she was hurt and he saw that she was hurt and he did even try to help. That's not good. Like, if it's somebody that you love or you have loved in the past, help her up. Like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm sure he's stronger than her. So, we know that if it was really a real fight, he was going to win. So, why even put your hand, you know, you know, put your hands on her in that manner, like, no. I'm not with that whole violence thing. Personally, I'm not. Um, I'm more for taking yourself out of the situation. If you know, you're gonna get out of character. That's how I am. Um, especially when it comes to men and female. If it's two females, no. If it's two men, no, I can understand y'all can go at it. But a male and a female and y'all were in a relationship, no. Um, yeah, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. Thanks for being the real MVP. I truly appreciate you. And make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. And do not also forget to go ahead and subscribe to my reaction channel, Just Learn React. The link will also be in the description box down below for your convenience. And I will catch you guys on my next one. See ya.